Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 creative codes that you can use to customize your Squarespace course. We've got a lot to cover today, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace looking at a standard course. Now we're going to start by adding some custom code to change the style of the lesson page, so I'm going to click on an individual lesson. To add this code to our website, I'm going to navigate to Pages, and then I'll select Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This is where we'll paste the code, and again, you'll find all of the codes I'm about to share underneath the video. Now, the very first part of a lesson page has the title of the course on the top left-hand side. This is a clickable title that will take people back to the course page, but all it says is the title of the course. To make sure people don't accidentally click that button, I like to add this code so that they understand exactly what that text will do. It will take them back to the name of the course. So now when they hover over this area, they'll understand, oh, if I click here, I'll go back to the main course page. The second code that I like to add here removes the complete and continue button from the top of the lesson. I like to have this button at the bottom of the lesson so people can click complete and continue when they're done with the lesson, but I don't like having it here at the top. I think it distracts from the sidebar navigation option here. So I'm going to add a new line of code that removes just that button. Now we've removed the button from the header of the course item. So the complete and continue button is still down here at the very bottom of the lesson. Another customization that I like to code for this button will change the text. Inside Squarespace, it has to say complete and continue, but with this custom code that we're about to add, we can actually change that text to anything we want it to be. Pasting the code here, you can see that it now says mark as complete. We can change the text between these quotation marks to be anything. Like next lesson, it's super customizable. What we've done with this code is we've hidden the original text by resetting the font size to zero. And then we've said after that text, make sure this font size is at one REM and have it say next lesson. They can change that value to anything you want. Maybe 12 PX is more appropriate for your own unique font style. Just make sure that you customize what's between the quotation marks and that will change the text on that button. Let's go ahead and select save and I'm going to scroll back up to the top because we've got a few more codes to add. I want you to pay close attention to the sidebar toggle right here. If we hop into edit mode and we select edit layout, you can move the placement of that course navigation or the sidebar to the left or the right hand side of the screen. I prefer to keep it on the right hand side so it's on the opposite side of the back to course option. I don't like having those clickable elements so close together so I keep it on the right hand side, but that's how you customize it if you want to. We'll select save and exit so we can go back to custom CSS and I'm going to paste a new line of code. Now we just added a lot, so stick with me here and I'll walk you through it. The first thing that we did was we said, let's make this bigger. I think the sidebar button is not very clear. It doesn't stand out a lot. So I like to increase the size of it by changing the height to 200% of what it was before. After that, we had to scoot it over a little bit to the left. I'll show you what happens if we remove that line of code it'll be pushed off the screen, which I don't like. So I scooted it just a bit to the left. Feel free to adjust that value as you see fit. The code I added after that changes the background to a bright orange. You can remove that line of code completely and it will be the default color that it was before, or you can customize it using code. I'll go ahead and change the word orange to the bright blue that I like to use on this particular site. There we go. And as you can see, this side navigation toggle is a lot more obvious than it was before. Now underneath that, I've added a little bit more code and this changes the icon inside that toggle. Here I've changed the width to 35 PX and I've added a bit of a top margin to it so it's centered inside the larger height of the toggle. If we remove this, I want you to see what the icon looks like. It's a lot smaller, it's not centered, it's a little difficult to see. So I like to add this code to make it a lot more obvious. All right, let's select save because we've got a few codes to add to this sidebar navigation. Now, when we click on this title, we're going to see all of the chapters and lessons inside this course. Using the editor, you can decide whether or not you'd like to have that thumbnail image, but that's about it when it comes to customizing the sidebar. So we're going to use some custom code to make changes. The first code that I like to add removes the play icon from the thumbnails. Let me zoom in really quickly. I'll remove the code. See where that thumbnail is? As soon as I paste this code here, that little play icon will go away. 
not all of my lessons have videos, so I like to make sure that I don't imply there's a video there, and I like to remove that icon. The other thing I like to remove are the timestamps. I'm going to paste this new line of code here, and you'll see immediately the timestamps have disappeared from the lessons and the chapters. I'll remove that really quickly to show you here. This is going to remove the data from the individual lesson as well as the chapter at the top of the collection of lessons. So when we paste this code, you'll see both of those go away. Now in this sidebar, the chapters stand out by having a larger text, but I like to customize them just a little bit more. So I'm going to add a new line of code and I'll walk you through what we just did here. This line of code says when you see the chapter header, give it a different color background, change the color of the text and align it to the center. All of this can be customized, remove this line and it can stay aligned to the left or change the word center to the word right and it'll scoot the chapter content over to the right. You can also change the color of the background. We'll go back to that shade of blue that I like. That's a little bit too much. Let's go back to the gray. There we go. That makes it look different. And I change the color of the text as well with this line of code right here. All super duper customizable, but I like to have my chapter stand out just a little bit more and I need to add more variant than just the size of the text. So I like to use a little bit of code to customize it. All right, I've got two more codes to share with you. This next line of code also has to do with the thumbnails here. Because we have this circular check mark where we can make progress through the course by completing specific lessons, I also like to make the thumbnails perfectly round. So I'm going to add a new line of code, and we're just going to change that container to have a border radius of 50%. Now, if you want to increase the size of it, you can use the same code here and add a little detail like Maybe the height should be 50 PX. But if you do that, I want you to notice it turns into an oval. So you're going to want to change the width to be the exact same size. We'll say 50 PX here as well, changing that to important. And there we go. Now we have slightly larger circles for the thumbnail images. Last but not least, I want to talk about this progress bar here at the very top. It says 40% on the left because I've checked off a few of the lessons here. And then it says progress on the right. Instead of saying progress, I like to use code to tell people how much of the course they've completed. I'm going to paste the code right here and I'll walk you through what we just did. What we've done here is set a line all of the text in the center. We no longer have the percentage on the left and the word progress on the right. Now it says 40% completed in the center. We got rid of the background of the text. Watch what happens when I remove that code. Do you see how we get a funky little background that might interfere with the bar there? I like to remove that completely by just saying background none. After that, we've added the text completed. And after that, we removed the label that said progress. So now it shows the percent completed of the course. And this will update just like the progress bar did before, depending upon which lessons have been checked. Pretty awesome, right? We made a lot of customizations today. So I'll go ahead and select save. And again, you'll find all of these underneath the video with labels. So you understand exactly which code will change what part of your Squarespace course. Underneath this video, you'll find all of the codes that I just shared with you so you can customize your own Squarespace course. Make sure that you update the important values like sizes and colors to make these codes match the unique style of your own Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments and check out some of the related content that I've linked in the description below. I've got a lot more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thanks again for watching this video and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.